from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likens Show. It's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likens. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likens Show. And here we are, you and me, on the radio, doing what we do. And um, I've enjoyed what we do. I hope you're enjoying it, too. Tons of email. Our MySpace page has unprecedented activity. It's it's insane. We've got over 15,000 friends now. And uh, we encourage you to uh, participate. By going to myspace.com slash Tom Likas. Our website, blowmeuptom.com. And, of course, you can email us anytime during the program at uh, tom at blowmeuptom.com. I read these things while I am here, while I am doing the show. Thank you very much for being part of the program. I want to talk a little bit here because I see a story, and I don't know if the story is true, so... There's so much gossip out there, and um, I know because I have a publicist myself that um, people in the public eye spin things any number of ways. They spin things in such a way so that you don't know they're unhappy. They spin things in such a way to make you believe that business is better than it is. They spin things to take you off the scent of bad things they're doing, like screwing around on their spouse or whatever. That, that's what people do. And I'm not naming any particular people here. I'm just simply saying that there's a reason we all have publicists. Because when you're in the public eye, what you want to do is give people just a slice of your life. People don't need to know everything. They want to know everything. They want to believe they know everything, but they really don't. So when I see a story like the one I'm about to refer to, I don't necessarily believe it's true, but it is certainly a jumping off point for a conversation. One of the people mentioned in this story has been a caller to our show. But uh, here it is. Courtney Cox. And David Arquette, according to Bang Showbiz, Bang is a gossip magazine in England, and their gossip uh, frequently appears in newspapers like the Arizona Republic. Courtney Cox and David Arquette are planning to adopt a child in a bid to save their marriage. The couple, who've been married for nine years and already have four-year-old daughter Coco are desperate to add to their family. But Courtney, 44, has so far been unable to fall pregnant, causing arguments between the pair. I'm just reading what they printed in the Arizona Republic. Courtney and David can speak to them uh, about the accuracy of any of the content here. I'm just repeating what it says. Says here, according to the National Enquirer, a source said David wants a sibling for Coco. But Courtney's reached a point where she feels it's hopeless to keep trying to get pregnant. They love each other very much. But with Courtney's intense work schedule and her resistance to adoption, David started to go out without her. But now, it says in the Arizona Republic, Courtney's given the okay to adopting a brother or sister for Coco. David has agreed to scale back on nights out. The story goes on to say Courtney has previously admitted she struggled to conceive Coco, but says being a mother is everything to her. Blah, blah. I don't know if this is true. And um, I don't care. (laughs) I don't. But it brings up an issue. Not necessarily having anything to do with Courtney Cox and David Arquette. And that is this. 
I don't understand the mentality of people who have children or adopt children in order to save a marriage. I just don't believe it works. And I don't know where people get the idea that it would. I mean, think about this for a second. Having a child is a responsibility, a cost. It is work. It is time-consuming. And it causes arguments. You get up and feed the kid at 3 in the morning. No, you get up and feed the kid at 3 in the morning. No, you get up. No, you get up. No, you get up. People not sleeping. People fighting over the costs. You know, this whole fairy tale that having a child is just nothing but wondrous joy. It's just so fantastic all the time is the biggest lie people tell. And they mostly tell it to get you to do what they did because misery loves company. They want you to have a kid just like they had a kid so that you can have your life limited to the same extent that their lives have been limited. Now, it's entirely possible, I, I don't have a child and I'm not married, it's entirely possible that if you are a happy family and you are financially well off and everything's going great and you love your kids and you love your spouse and everything's good, it's entirely possible that taking your two children and turning them into three children could make you even happier. I won't argue with that. That's possible, and I'm sure there are people who feel that way. But if your marriage is lousy, if it has turned south, if you are arguing all the time, I find it hard to believe that having a child is going to make that better. I really do. I have had at least one relationship with someone who told me that the reason our relationship wasn't going well is because we didn't have a child. And because I was opposed to having a child. And if only we would have a child, things would get better. And I don't happen to believe that. A relationship is between two people. If it doesn't work when there are only two people there, it isn't going to get better when there are three. If you have one child and you are having disagreements about something and one person has decided to take their spare nights and go out alone, I don't believe having a child is going to stop that. It's not going to reverse that trend for any period of time. I just don't believe it. The one I especially know doesn't work is the moronic young woman who thinks that if she gets pregnant that she'll be able to keep a guy in a relationship and when she thinks he's got a wandering eye or that he's going to leave her. The woman who thinks having a baby is somehow going to stop that trend. Getting pregnant will lock him in. Where do people get these ideas from? By the way, thank you to all the emails from people who told me that this week Tyra Banks who's bigger than ever. I know if her show's bigger than ever, but she certainly is. Tyra Banks did a show this week telling women, I swear I've gotten a lot of emails, so I know it's true, telling women how to trick your man into marrying you. That was the topic. How to trick your man into marrying you. And one of the ways that women do this is by getting pregnant. But having a baby is not something that men are waiting to have happen. And certainly in a bad marriage, I think it only makes things worse. Don't you agree? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Does it really make sense to add more kids to your marriage? Or your relationship? If things are going badly? Is that going to make things better? I don't agree. 
Garen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. You there, Garrett? Yeah. Can you hear me, Dad? I can, son. Uh, how you doing? Great. All right. So um, I'm kind of have to disagree with you on this one. You know, I've been listening to you for a long time now. Um, I think when you know someone gets married, you know, eventually they're going to want to have kids. At least most people, you know, that get married. And um, you know, some sometimes the if the girl, the uh, woman is infertile, or you know, even the male, it could be a problem. But if the marriage uh, isn't going well. Uh, having children is not going to improve it. Yeah, no, I understand that. Um, but for but say okay, say Tom, you were to get married, you know, and and you, and you wanted kids. Yeah, I know you don't, you know. But um, wouldn't wouldn't you want your wife to be happy? Wouldn't you want Wouldn't you want to be happy? Well, I would want to be happy, but if my marriage were not going well, I certainly would not start having kids. Or to add more kids to a bad situation? No. Well, now I'm, I'm wondering. Okay, is is it Courtney Cox? Is, is she the one that that can't get pregnant? That's what the story in the Arizona Republic claims. And do you think she's ever thought of in vitro? Because I'm an in vitro. Says baby. she's already been through in vitro. I read the whole article to you, and you weren't paying attention. Well, I, I turned on my radio when I when I started calling, so I, I don't think I heard the the whole. Thing. How could you call if you hadn't heard me read the article? No, I mean, I, I'd already started calling. Like, I, I called, but how did like, you know what my question was going to be? When I was reading the article, I hadn't expressed it as a question yet. Uh, yeah, I, I understand. So you, you you were listening, you just weren't paying attention. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm driving right now. So. Right. But um, but I just think, you know, if, 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 she wants to, if she doesn't want to adopt, you know, it, it, sh it shouldn't be, it shouldn't really be up to her. Just her, you know. It should be up to both of them. And if they if they decide that they both don't want to do it, then their marriage probably won't work out. I, again, I'm not basing this on uh, David Arquette and Courtney Cox because I don't believe uh, ninety percent of the stuff I read about celebrities anyway. Uh, knowing how much of it is just plain lies, uh, but uh, what I do know is that uh, I, I know people who are married who have had problems in their marriage. And one moron or the other will say, let's have a kid, thinking it will make things better. Yeah. Well, you know, in that way, you know, I, I guess I kind of agree with you because it's going to... Well, see, had you listened to what I said in the beginning, you would know you agreed with me and you wouldn't have called in to say that you disagreed with me. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Tom. You're always right. I know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jocelyn on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. Long time on and off and first time that I got through. Thank you. <laughs> um, I agree, definitely, because I don't know how many people that I've tried to convince either not to have any kids at all because their relationship is in the crapper um, or to especially not have another one because it's it, it does definitely add to it. Um, I'm 29. I've been married nine years. I have two kids that were both planned, and I have my tubes tied because I have a boy and a girl. I don't need any more than that, but um, anytime that you add more people to the equation, it's just going to add their problems to your problems, and, and it does depend on how you can handle that, um, but I, I, I try to convince people all the time to stop having kids or not to start at all, because their relationship, whether married or not, is, is a mess. And that's what I try to tell everybody. I get these calls from people all the time. How many kids do you have, I say? They'll say, three. How old are they? Five, three, and one. How long have you been miserable? Four years. <laughs> well, why'd you have the last two? Right. Well, we had them because we thought it would make our relationship stronger. You're so naive. That's so stupid. Well, and they claim that they have accidents. I don't believe in accidents. That's why I had my tube site, because I didn't want any accidents. There are no accidents. Exactly. There are no accidents. There's no accidents. There are so many forms of birth control available now. These are not accidents. Nope. There's no such thing. A woman who gets pregnant wanted to get pregnant, and that's it. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as an accident. And, right. And as far as Courtney Cox, I don't know if I sound mean, but, you know, she has a wonderful career, so she sort of needs to pick and choose. She's 44. Uh, most women aren't having babies at 44 because they've had them already. She had her career, so I, I don't know if she can necessarily have the best of both worlds. I, well, you know, I, I have to believe that if you are working 10, 12 hours a day, 16 hours some days, I have to imagine that does something to your fertility. Right. 
I'm not speaking about Courtney Cox or anyone in particular. I just have to believe that somehow it affects your ability to conceive. Well, and, and not only that, but you've got to say goodbye to your going out at any time of the night that you want, and your, you know, it doesn't it doesn't fix your relationship. In fact, it adds to it. I don't have babysitters. I don't have people that can watch my kids. It's me and my husband, and we love our life because that's what we chose. But you can't expect. I mean, of course, someone in Courtney Cox's position will have nannies and things like that. But it does definitely add to the stress in your marriage and your life and your relationship and your occupation. But whatever, you know, it just does definitely add stress. It doesn't fix anything. Thank you, Jocelyn. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mimi on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mimi. Um, when I was 25, I was under the impression that my biological clock was ticking. How old? 25. 25? Yes. What were you, uh, uh, sexually mature at five? <laughs> Well, listen to this time. I had started listening to you when I was 24, but I thought you were an a-hole back then. Oh, I was I was back then, and I am now. <laughs> and so I didn't want to listen to anything you said. Um, and so, anyway, I married this guy who ended up being just fantastic. And um, I got pregnant shortly after. And right after I got pregnant, I knew I made a big mistake. And anyway, I had my daughter... And uh, things were miserable. He was never home. He was a good financial provider, but he was never home. And basically, I was raising his son from another relationship and my daughter by myself. And he kept trying to talk me into having another child. And I kept telling him, no, well, I think I want to wait. I'm not ready. And in the back of my mind, I thought, well, if I have another child, everything that's happening now is just going to be multiplied by two. And um, I decided not to do it, and I left him. And I'm glad that I was not tricked into doing it because I think he just wanted me to stay at home and take care of his son from another relationship, our daughter. And had I had another child, I, I would have been trapped. He, well, he still uh, got that anyway, didn't he? Um, well, what happened was, is, no, I just he, he had a son from another relationship. We had my daughter, and then I didn't get pregnant again. So he took his son with him. He took his son with him. I took my daughter. He got remarried, and now he got a little pretty young thing, and she is on her second child for him. So that's her problem now. <laughs> but he left you with the kid that both of you had. Yes. Yes, he did. And I love my daughter, but um, she's going through it right now because he's just the greatest guy in the world, he, and he chooses not to see her because he's angry with me. Bottom line is, ladies... If it's bad now, all a child is going to do is make it 50 times worse. That's right. You've got the money that you have to to, uh, to uh, pay for child care. I was paying $800 a month for child care, uh -huh. and I paid it by myself for a very long time, almost a year until I could take him to court to get him to help me. And like you were saying, these girls, I see them on these talk shows all the time, and when they finally get to prove, oh, he's the daddy, now they say, oh, well, you're going to take care of my kid. You can't make a man do it. You cannot make a man do it. There are men who will quit their jobs just so they don't have to pay. Well, look, the best you could do is somehow track down their cash with a forensic accountant and, and get money from them. But you can't make them be a father. You can't make right. them play with the kid. You can't make them spend time with the kid. can't make them come over. That's right. And let's face it, what a lot of these women want to do is they want to get the guy to come over so they can see them. Exactly. Exactly. And if you have a, a sperm donor like uh, my sister has, he just... Uh, gets a fake social security number and gets paid under the table so he'll never have to pay there we go so that's what happens Mimi I think you've got it all wrapped up there think you understand 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number Roland on the Tom Likas show hello hello yes hey Tom how are you doing okay Hey, you know, I wanted to, I, I missed the first part of the conversation about Courtney, but I just want to comment on the general idea of people wanting to have kids when the marriage is not going so well. Right. Well, first, first of all, why should the kids inherit the problem of the marriage? Uh, look at how many broken families we have, and having kids is not going to fix your problems. It's going to screw up your kids. Right. You know, if you got married in the first place, and I'm married, I know you don't approve of that, but I'm married. If you got married in the first place, you should have had 
your priority is set. What you want from the marriage, what you got married for, and if the marriage is not going so well, then you screwed up. Don't don't pass it on to your kids. I totally agree. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six six. The Tom like it show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Shorter commercial breaks than ever means more whatever it is we do. What is that? Well, that's right. Talk to morons like you. Exactly. Now there's even more morons per hour because we take the calls faster. 1-800-5800-TOM. Who ever got this ridiculous idea that if your marriage is going badly, have another kid. That'll make it better. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Joe. How you doing? Great. Good. You don't have any kids, do you? Nope. Thank God, right? Oh, any- I, I don't think God had anything to do with it. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's perfect planning. That's what I call it. Anyways, what I have to say is me and my husband had one child. And after that, I had my tubes tied because we decided to get our careers. We decided that we wanted a home. We wanted to have everything done. So when he was of age, we could have our life. And he is of that age, and we are having the times of our life. Really? Yes. And I have a sister that is on her fourth child, fourth child, to try to have a boy. And her, she is miserable and you know what i tell them all the time i've even had an abortion before i got my tubes tied Uh, i'm not i'm not while i was married because we didn't want any more children wow uh, you know i'm not embarrassed to say it i i I don't blame you but um what what i'm saying is you guys have to have your priorities straight Stop having these children and stop making these mistakes because they're the ones that, that pay for it in the long run. And when the husband run it, runs out on you guys, it's me at the check stand for wanting to leave the, the, the store and not buy anything because your kids are going crazy and you can't handle them. <laughs> it's true. It's, uh, I was just in the store the other day and I left. I left my cart right there. I said, man, these people cannot handle their kids. I'm trying to put my ATM card, and these kids are right there going crazy in my food like they've never seen food before because this lady had like three or four of them that she couldn't, she couldn't afford by, uh, by every Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Hello, Scott. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. I couldn't agree with you more on this topic. This pisses me off so bad. When people think that having a kid is actually going to make you happier, you're insane. I I, I know this firsthand. I I was married for a short time, wasn't real happy, and and I can swear to this day that she tricked me and she quit taking her child child, uh, uh, birth control me, and she got pregnant. I left her when the kid was eight months old. It doesn't make it any better. It makes it worse. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. If your if your marriage is bad, how is uh, two a.m. feedings and uh, arguing all the time going to make things better? This doesn't. It makes it ten times worse. And, and anybody that thinks it doesn't, wake up. I'm not kidding. You. Thank you for that. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Kevin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, I love your show, and I have to call your brother because we're about the same age. Okay. But I still look up to you. Cool. Wonderful, fantastic subject. How can a babe like this do a -a 12-hour-a-day spit on a series and look after a baby? This is insane. What kind of a woman is this that would do something like that? I totally agree. And what about that other babe, the one married to the spineless Mr. Benjamin Button? What about that? I like that one. Isn't that <laughs> what a don't you love? That. Don't you love seeing Brad Pitt, the last guy in the world you would think would have to be pussy whipped? Don't you love seeing him being dragged all over the world, adopting more kids? 
he's got he's got it done with a cat of nine tails, baby. He's been really whipped. I mean, as much as most guys years ago wanted to have sex with Angelina Jolie, look at the price you have to pay. She would have to buy the drinks for me, Tom. She would have to be <laughs> buying the drinks for me. And you know the you know the three time rule. I doubt yeah. if I'd get to the first time with that one. <laughs> I, the I, price is too high. It is too high. And these kids that you're going to go make or get or buy or pawn off on a nanny, they deserve better than that. I would love to hear from just one person. One person. And you notice we haven't heard from one yet. I'd love to hear from just one person who added children to a bad relationship and the relationship turned around. Well, they're over on The View. You know the show, The View? They're over there right now talking to those women. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Hey, Tom? Yes. Please, I love it. My favorite flavor is bong hit with a thank you, Jesus topper. Here you go, Kevin. Thank you, Jesus. There hasn't been one. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I agree with you. I've had three children. Um, my third one I had with my soon-to-be ex-husband was not planned, or it was, you know, it wasn't an accident, as you say. We could have prevented it. But we, when I was pregnant with him, we decided that it was not a good idea because the marriage was already bad. Or he wanted a child. I did not want the child. I actually tried to go and not have the child, and I was too far along, so I chose to have him. Right. Um, he passed away at six weeks old, which is a whole different story, and I left my husband shortly after that. But there's no way. Children cause a lot of stress on a marriage. I mean, I think marriage is stressful anyways. Children cause a lot of stress. My question is, though, there's also those people that can't have children, you know, that really, really want a baby in their marriage, and don't you think that causes stress on the marriage? And so if they were to have a child... You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what's stopping them? Infertility? Yeah, exactly. If they were, that's what I mean. If they've tried and tried and they can't have a baby, and they want to adopt a baby, but it's a it's a huge process. And, and well, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, I have a, I have a word uh, or two for <laughs> all the people out there who are religious, okay, and cannot conceive. Right. God has spoken. Right. Right. Stop. You're, not, you're not. You don't believe in God. Stop with the test tubes. <laughs> well, isn't that the case? <laughs> you know, uh, they they say, uh, for example, Catholics say that you are not supposed to use condoms or diaphragms right. to prevent what God right. intended. Right. Well, doesn't that also mean that if you've been trying and trying, as people say, and they right. can't conceive, doesn't that mean God has spoken? Right. I agree. I totally agree. So and anyone who's religious, Catholic anyone who's religious who goes to a, a fertility doctor, is, right. I, I think they are violating God's word. Right. Right. Huh. So what about adoption for those that can't have a baby, that really want a baby, and their marriage is, has stress on it because they really want a baby? Well, again, I, I say if your marriage is that stressed out. Right. And by the way. Why should it be so stressed out if you love each other and it's so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful being married? I agree. You're right. <laughs> Why do you need to add more people? You're totally right. Yeah. I, I, I really wanted to say that I agreed with you because I've had children. I've been married. And children are, I love my children to death. But it's, it's, there's no way in the world that a child would make a stressful marriage better. Right. There's no way. Jennifer, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say you're awesome. Oh. <laughs> I listen to you every day at work. Thank I'm you. on all day long. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate the call. It's Morris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's happening, everyone out there? Uh, Tom, I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. I've been that guy. Uh, I was married uh, real young, 18, tried to do it right, uh, had, a, had a young son. Uh, I got caught in the trap of, uh, you know, let's get, let's get, this relationship is going old after the military, et cetera. Had another girl creep on me with protection. She actually had a surgery. Found out that was a, a bad uh, implant. Uh, tried to make it work. Stuck in there. Ended up having number three. Uh, three years later, she's uh, committed to three, four hospitals for psych, psych issues. And now I'm a single father of three. I'm a police officer in L.A. County. And uh, going to law school because it's a struggle. And even the job that I have, making pretty decent money, I still can't make it. And I'm self-educated. 
finishing my master's, and I got law school starting uh, next year. I don't even know what to do, Tom, but <laughs> people got to give it up, and that's for real. I'm still struggling, especially in today's economy. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope they hear what you have to say. I really do. Yeah, and, and it's a trip. And, uh, you know, guys out there who are fathers or guys out there with these babies, look, take it from me as a law enforcement officer and a person going to law school and learning this, this life. The system is not designed for, for men. I don't care how great you are, how much money you make. It's not designed for you. It's designed for the woman. And that's just how it is. And you're already climbing up. I don't feel bad on having extra kids. just won't be the issue. I... And uh, sorry about that. Go ahead, sir. No, no. Go right ahead. And so that's just, you know, that's that's my spiel. And I, there's times where I'm still in the corner, and I don't know what to do. I make decent money, like I said. I'm trying to better myself, and I'm still listening to you like, dang, I messed up. I don't know how to get out of it, and I'm stuck for life. And especially being a single dad of three kids at 100%, where my kid's mom is only seeing them a day, day and a half a week. Well, I gave you the right information, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But it's just, you know, fortunately, it, it was too late for me, but I do listen to you. I must definitely adapt those theories, and uh, you know I've been I've been a single dude for about four years after this divorce, and uh, there's just no need for settle town. I'm struggling enough with my three, and uh, we're rolling, we're rolling good, and we're able to make it happen uh, because of my other decisions after that. And for those who don't have an education, you're fooling yourself. And uh, yesterday when you we were talking about the advice of people looking for part-time jobs or looking for this, you're a fool if you're not going to school to learn a trade or learn something that's going to produce some type of income to turn you around because it's only going to get worse from you. I agree with you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Why do people think they're going to have kids going to save their relationship? Can you tell me? I've got to know. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Drew on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Drew. Hey, I, I have to totally agree with you on this. I mean, I've seen so many relationships fall apart as soon as the kids come. Because, I mean, I don't know what these people are thinking. Uh, a lot of them, like, I'm, I'm in a relationship right now, and my stand with my girl is we cannot have a kid until we can afford a kid. That, that's the way it is. And uh, you know, why can't people concede that having a child has a cost, like like buying a car? Oh, yeah, it, it, it costs a lot of money. I, I told her there has to be at least 150 grand in the bank that we're not using for us to have a kid. How, and, did, she, how did she react to that? Uh, she she totally agrees, actually, because uh, we don't want to burden ourselves financially. That makes sense Cause, to me. Because she's still in college, and, I mean, I, I have a, a good job working uh, at a 24-hour mill, and she says uh, that... Working at she, a 24-hour mill? How much does that pay? Uh, it pays anywhere between 60000 to $75,000 a year to start off. And, and what's the future of a job like that? Uh, it, our, our top pay guy, which is uh, what we call a first operator, makes uh, about 150 grand a year up to about 200 grand a year, depending on how much time he puts in. And this business will exist for the next 40 years? Uh, yeah, we, we, we uh, make uh, the stuff you blow your nose on. Yeah, I understand that, but uh, but uh, can't they get machines to do that at some point? Uh, they they do, but there's still going to be people that need to be there to fix the machines when they do something wrong. I see. All right, Drew, good luck to you. Thank you for the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. John on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. I have a good story for you. Are you ready for it? Yes. All right. My parents... We're going through a real rough time. They were fighting about money. They had a bunch of issues. They were about to get divorced. They actually filed some papers. Uh, my mom is a very old school woman. She convinced my dad, hey, let's adopt the child. They ended up adopting me from a friend of theirs who was going to put it up for adoption, me up for adoption anyway. And they're still married today, nearly 40 years. You know, I mean, it's, this is 24 years later, but for them, it's they're celebrating about their 35th anniversary. Right, and uh, they told you they were about to break up and they needed to adopt you in order to stay together. Yeah, 
this is a story that I was told. Do you believe it? I do. I do. My mom is a very old school person. They said basically once they adopted me, she went through her maternal instincts and basically took care of me. She's, you know, every, all the financial issues between them kind of ceased. And she, you know, they, they were happy afterwards. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and you I know turned it. out, I turned out okay. You know, I'm 24. I'm about to graduate from Cal State Fullerton. I work for my dad's company. Uh, I have no debts. I have no credit card debt, nothing, you know, live on my own and never really had a serious girlfriend, always been dating. I discovered you about a year and a half ago and love you because, hell, I've been living everything you've said since the beginning, and all my friends always tried to talk me in out of it, but I'm like, no, why? Why date? That's ridiculous. Why yeah. go have a girlfriend? Well, but all that makes sense to me, and it is possible to find a needle in a haystack even a broken clock is right twice a day, so I guess it's possible. I just find it unlikely for most people. Like the next caller and her family, Diana, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right, so I have no idea why she thinks kids are fixing her relationship. I think it's making it worse. She's uh, 22, and she's actually a day with her second child, and uh, she... Uh, has an 18 month old as well with the same guy, but uh, it's a horrible relationship, and she thinks that it's making it better. And I tried explaining it to her, but she just doesn't listen to me. So I feel bad. I uh, don't disagree with that. I, I'm amazed. I, I do think that it, if you're already in a hole, this is what's going to bury you, like you're in your grave if you add exactly. children to that mix. Yeah, no, she's she's not. I mean, she had to go have her child right now at a different hospital because the one she had her first one won't accept her because she still owes them. Wow. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy, but um, I I'm totally against it. I think she's completely stupid, but she doesn't listen to any of us, <laughs> obviously. Oh my God! And does she complain? This is where I draw the line. When people call me to complain about something and I've already given them the solution, yeah, I'm out. Does she call you and complain about her relationship? Not anymore. She's learned because she knows I won't tolerate it. I will just dig into her and just complain and yell at her, and she, she learns not to come to me for any of her problems, which is sad, but she already knows the answer, what I'm going to say. So. Right. I totally agree with you. But, yeah, to everyone out there. Don't have kids. Bad idea. <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you, Tom. You enjoy the rest of your day. Diana, thank you. Now, isn't it fascinating? We've been here almost an hour talking about this. We've only had one caller who even remotely said that somebody had improved their marriage after, in this case, adopting a child. But uh, none of the uh, married people called in to say it. None of the people in relationships called in to say it. Uh, not one person called in to say that their relationship or their marriage got better. It had been bad, and adopting a child or having a child made things better. Not one person. Not one. All we got was one guy who says he was adopted and that his parents told him that it rescued their relationship. But not one person has called in here to tell me that they... I mean, it's outrageous. Now, what person has called in here to say, well, it improved my relationship? Now, I have had countless people, when I talk about relationships in general, call in and tell me they had a baby to improve their relationship. But now that I've made that the issue, nobody is calling in. And you know why? Do you know? Because it doesn't happen. Because having children costs money, increases the stress level, and makes bad situations worse. I'm not saying people aren't happy with children. I mean, my God, I've got uh, the six nieces and nephews. And uh, certainly uh, the parents, uh, who are my siblings, are all very happy they had kids. I have a brother who has one kid. I have one sister who has two. And another sister who has three. Uh, they're all very happy. And uh, I've enjoyed talking to them. I have. I will tell you, I've enjoyed talking to them. But I don't want that responsibility. And if I'm in a bad relationship, why would I want to increase the odds that I'm going to be paying child support or alimony? Or that I'm going to be stuck with somebody that I just can't stand to be around? I say if you're in a bad relationship, just simply get out. 
get out. Don't be having more kids with that person. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Andrew on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Wow, it's a miracle. I can't believe you put me on. Here you I are. Think that, I think that uh, kids do help keep marriages together. I've been married 11 years, and and I probably would have been divorced quite a few times by now if it weren't for the kids. So I have to respect... No, 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 but I'm talking people. about people who have a bad marriage uh -huh. and then have a kid to improve the marriage. I see what you're saying. But in general, it sounds like... That's not you, bad. is it? But that's not you. anti-kids. It's not anti-kids. I love kids. I don't want to have kids. It doesn't mean I don't love them. And I think you need to encourage people to make more kids. Why? Because. Why do people... Enough. Why would it be we don't have enough? Well, we don't have enough... Let's say we don't have enough uh, white kids, for example. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So you're a racist. No, I'm not. I'm look around. You see a lot of white babies being born? Well, actually, there's quite a few being born. I, just well, because I you happen that. to live in a neighborhood where there's people of color doesn't mean there aren't a lot of white babies being born in this country. There are many. The majority of babies born in this country are white. Well, you know what? Babies are good things to have. I think everyone should have more So babies. all you white people out there, start uh, procreating, because Andrew thinks that there's exactly. too Thank many you, people Tom. of color. And Thank by the way, by babies. the way, do you, do, and do you are a Klan member, I take it? No, I'm just a regular dude. Just a regular dude? You want to yeah. sign up for the claim. Oh, well, do you have the info? I'll, I'll take it down. Oh, I'm sure. Just one quick trip to Google. You can find it. Uh, yeah. Cassie on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom? Yes. Hi, this is Cassie. I, I just wanted to call in, and you guys, you were talking about how having a baby, if it's yes. good or if it's bad. I love my two, two years old. I love my child to death. I think she's a godsend from heaven. But... Um, the relationship with her father, it has ruined us. Completely ruined us. Um, so I just wanted to agree with you. <laughs> I love my child to death, but our relationship with me and my ex-boyfriend... In the tank! The Tom Likas Show.